Hey guys, welcome back to GamerTube. As we continue our Last of Us 2 week, I wanted to go through 6 quick tips that will help you survive in its unforgiving brutal world. Leave no stone unturned. Search, search and search again. And there is plenty of things to be found. Materials, scrap, it's all important here. If you want to be well equipped, you're going to need to fill those pockets and backpack of yours. Also, there's crucial items that you might miss such as guns and other key items. There's nothing worse than getting into a fight and realising you haven't made any health items. A good number of health packs to have is 2, 3 is ideal, but materials can be a little sparse in The Last of Us depending on what difficulty you're on. Also, when upgrading your skill tree, if you're like me and you take a lot of hits and lose a lot of health, you might want to consider upgrading your skills for healing quickly and crafting quickly. Just a reminder, glass is breakable in The Last of Us 2. Unlike the first game, if a door is locked, that's pretty much it. But now, if a window looks breakable, it most likely is. Just press square and smash the glass with Ellie's knife. This can allow you to obtain items, get into areas and buildings you didn't think you could. Stealth is the aim of the game here. The WLF, or the Washington Liberation Front, are a heavily armed militia who patrol in large groups. With this in mind, you gotta take him out quietly. Enter the pistol silencer and bow. When you get the ability to craft the silencer, do it immediately, as it's quite the helpful tool for taking down your foes quietly. Also in saying that, the bow was also a quiet and deadly weapon. Utilize it as much as you can. It's always handy to have a bottle or brick on you. They're always useful from distracting infected and human enemies, to stunning enemies so you can deliver the final blow, to breaking windows and setting off explosive traps. You can also use them to get the attention of enemies to lure them into traps. When you come across a safe, it might feel a little daunting thinking, oh okay, where is this code going to be in this big open area? Might feel like a needle in a haystack. But don't fret, most times the code is nearby. Try reading notes and looking for clues within the building you're in. Alrighty guys, that's all the quick tips I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving us a like, a comment and subscribing as this helps our channel out greatly and we all appreciate your support. Okay guys, I'll catch you in the next one.